Princeton basketball has long embraced those who have a broad skill set, with the goal always to have five members on the court who can all dribble, pass, shoot, and defend. For one member of the program, though, being able to do it all extends well beyond what plays out in the game. The title that Chris has is Director of Basketball Operations, but underneath that title, there's like a tree branch of many things that you do. I always say that when you're a head coach, you always wear a lot of different hats, and the same is true for the ops position. Chris's title should say, you know, coordinator of food on the bus, travel, uh, managers, you know, making sure that, that, I, that all the things that need to get done on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of the office. Uh, it's really, he's a VP of common sense. So uh, we just got done with film. We're up at Dillon right now, up campus, taking Elias and Richmond up to Winbury to do the radio show tonight. Uh, as director of operations, we got a lot of, a lot of moving parts that we're doing. Uh, the radio show is something that we've done this year for the first time. These two are the lucky two tonight to talk to uh, Derek Jones with uh, Coach Henderson. All the players are really close to Monge. Uh, me and Monge talk almost every day, just, I don't know, either joking around or about whether, what time we should be doing team meal or so-and-so, but uh, Monge is hilarious. He's a big jokester, so we always mess him with Monge. Uh, he's great to have around, and he's always just, He's always there trying to see what he can do for other people, and that's, I think, the best quality about him. Um, he's just always putting himself out there, trying to help. Road games is where like the bulk of his job really comes into play, where he's figuring out travel plans, he's figuring out food plans, he's figuring out how we're going to get to the gym, what time we need to get to the gym. So he's got all these things going on in his mind. How are the managers going to get snacks? How are we like talking to the bus driver, making sure food's getting delivered? All of that stuff is all happening at the same time as he's, you know, probably breaking down film. He does our attitude board as well. Um, so he's like making a video at the same time that he's worrying about all of that kind of stuff. The thing that impresses me the most is he does it with a little give and take. So he'll give you what he thinks. He'll go a little bit beyond. And then if you push back, he can listen and then give you another thought. Uh, it's, a, it's a skill that's obviously, I think he's been raised really well. Um, he was another New Jersey guy. I'm surrounded by the New Jersey guys who's on the staff. Um, but, you know, in, in his own way, he's very unique, and the guys love him, which I appreciate. Uh, Monge has a wealth of basketball knowledge. Um, you can see he's going to be a great coach in the future. Um, just like yesterday, I was having a lot of trouble um, uh, post-defense. You know, he brought me to the side, gave me a little tips, just how to be better. And, you know, he's always there to help you, and that's big, big to have another coach, even though he's not technically a coach, just there giving you pointers. He just, he just makes everybody at ease. It's, uh, it's invaluable to have somebody that eases the transition between being a high school student and a college student. Chris does that for us because that's what he's supposed to do. I'm, I know he's got loftier goals and wants to do more, but he's really good at what he does. Chris Mongilia keeps his focus on anything and everything that touches Princeton basketball. In doing so, he allows the coaching staff and the players to keep their focus on more specific tasks which on a week that includes a home game against Penn and then a trip to Harvard and Dartmouth that looms shortly after require no distractions.